Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial about Google Sunrise Toolbox. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining the linear motion functions that are provided by the toolbox. So the toolbox allows you to move the end effector of the robot on a line. Now there are three functions that are provided by the toolbox. To do this motion, those functions are move BTB line in EEF and move BTB line EEF, rel base and move BTB line EEF, rel EEF. The first function move BTB line EEF allows the robot to move on a linear motion toward a destination point. This destination point is specified using absolute coordinates. Now the other two functions allows the robot to move on a linear motion toward a destination point but the destination point is described by displacements those displacements are taken even relative to the base of the robot or relative to the end effector of the robot so those three functions mainly differs by the way you describe the destination point to which the robot has to move. Either you describe this point by absolute coordinates or you describe this point relatively using displacements. Those displacements could be relative to the base of the robot or relative to the end effector uh, frame of the robot. So I'm going to be explaining this on the robot right now. So first of all, I'm going to define a variable, call it IB, and I'm going to give it the IB of the robot. So then you have to start the MATLAB toolbox server. application from the teach pendant of the robot so you have to synchronize the KUKA Sunrise Toolbox server uh, Java applications uh, to the robot controller after doing so you have to start the application from the teach pendant then to connect you have to use function net establish connection and you have to give it the IB of the robot as an argument then hit enter and the connection is established now after establishing the connection I'm going to show you how to move the end effector uh, using the function move btb line end effector rel base so the idea right now I'm gonna move the robot around 10 centimeters down uh, toward the table in the z direction and I'm gonna define the destination point uh, by a relative displacement so desp I'm gonna define a variable call it desp it's gonna be cell array cell array shall contain uh, the three displacements one displacement along the z axis x axis then the y axis then the z axis 
and the units shall be in millimeter. So if you do not need any displacement on the x-axis, it's going to be zero. Then no displacement in the y-axis, it's going to be zero. Then 10 centimeter displacement in the z-axis uh, down. So this is going to be minus 100 millimeters. Then we are going to use the function move btb line in the factor relative to the base. So this function is going to take three arguments. First is the CBIB communication object. Then it's going to be uh, it's going to take the displacement. Uh, <clears throat> in relation to the base frame of the robot, then we need to get the velocity by which the robot is going to move. So let us say that the robot is going to move with a velocity of 50 millimeters per second. Now hit enter, and you can see the robot moving. And here the robot moved 10 centimeters down toward the table along the z-axis. The orientation stays the same. Now let me say that I want to move the robot 5 centimeters up. So you define the displacement to be I do not want the robot, the robot to move along the x-axis. I do not want it to move along the y-axis, but I want it to move around the z, uh, along the z-axis 5 centimeters or 50 millimeters up. Then I'm going to use the same function And then I'm going to use 75 millimeters per second as the velocity. Hit enter, and the robot is going to move up. So this is the relative motion relative to the base. Now, if I want to move the robot in a line, but I want to define the point, the destination point, using relative displacements to the end factor. So what you shall uh, in such a case you have to use the move BTB line EEF rel EEF. So let me say that I want to move uh, the robot 50 millimeters in the z direction of the end factor. I'm going to use. Uh, variable accelerate this uh, variable still uh, array have three components the first is displacement along the x-axis of the in the factor transformation uh, transformation uh, frame then uh, displacement along the y-axis of the indefector transformation frame, then 15 millimeters, which is the z displacement along the z-axis of the indefector transformation frame. Now I'm going to use the function move btb line indefector, but I'm going to use the function relative to the indefector, and I'm going to give CBIB communication object as an argument, then the displacement, then the velocity. Hit enter, and you see that the robot has moved uh, in, in, an, in an inclined line. Uh, the end effector stayed with the same orientation. 
and basically it was displaced uh, along its z-axis 